What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you a caterpillar that appears in my garden every fall that people often misconstrue as a pest, but is really not a pest and needs to be protected. And I'm going to show you how to do it with no downsides. Here where I live on the southeastern coast of North Carolina, worms and caterpillars can cause a lot of damage in my garden in a short period of time. Most of them are the offspring of moths and they are nasty pests that can eat through my garden in no time flat. They eat my tomatoes, my cucumbers, my peppers, my brassicas, my lettuce. If they have dark green leaves, they will eat them. But some caterpillars need to be protected like this one that finds its way into my garden this time of year. And that caterpillar is the black swallowtail butterfly. Here you can see one right here. They're all over my garden this time of year on certain plants. You can see more of them down here. You can see another one right here chowing down on these leafy greens. They are beautiful and they will turn into beautiful butterflies. They are not the offspring of nasty moths. So because these caterpillars turn into beautiful black swallowtail butterflies, it is important that we don't confuse them with most worms and caterpillars and kill them by mistake. However, like anything in nature, these beautiful caterpillars can have some downsides. They are also known as parsley worms because they love feasting on parsley plants and dill plants. So if you're growing parsley and dill in your garden, they can cause some damage. So because of this, less experienced gardeners can sometimes overreact and kill these beautiful caterpillars. We obviously do not want to do that. More experienced gardeners will typically collect them all and move them all onto one parsley plant and just have that parsley plant be a sacrificial lamb that basically goes to the slaughter in order to help these caterpillars while not sacrificing the rest of your garden. But I'm here to tell you that you technically don't have to do either of these things and there's a way around all of this. Black swallowtail caterpillars love the tops of carrots just as much as they love parsley and dill. So instead of sacrificing your fresh herbs, just collect all of the caterpillars and move them to the tops of your carrots. Because we eat the carrot roots, we don't really care what happens to these green carrot tops. It's of no consequence. As long as there is enough leaves on here to absorb some sunlight for photosynthesis, which clearly there is, there's no downside to relocating them over to your carrots instead. So what happens if you don't have any carrots growing in order to relocate these little guys to? Well, this goes to show you how important it is to grow carrots all year round if you can. Carrots are some of the easiest, lowest maintenance plants that you can possibly grow. They require very little fertilizing, no pruning, no spraying. They have almost no pests and they can survive almost down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So here in zone eight, even down in zone seven, you can grow them all throughout the winter. And if you're willing to set up some type of little hoop house structure, you can probably even grow them down in zone six or maybe even zone five. So if you're growing parsley and dill in your garden, make sure to grow carrots nearby so you can use the greens to sustain beautiful populations of black swallowtail butterflies. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.